Hi, my name is Mark Wenting. I am the owner and director of the Multisim company. At Multisim, we are dedicated to increase the effectiveness of collaborative training in which multiple crews and simulators interact. It is the interaction between crews that is decisive for the success of difficult missions. For this purpose, we develop high fidelity solutions for real-time collaborative training over distributed networks. We develop two software packages called DSIM and DWorld. DSIM connects all the different simulators in a distributed network and provides the instructors with an interface to all the variables in a simulation. DWorld is a world-class render engine that simulates one synchronized world in which real-time training takes place. Together, DSIM and DWorld facilitate complex mission training for multiple crews on the ground and in the air. Of course, in the real world, you never walk or fly alone. DSIM is also the user interface to all simulations in the network. Simulator hardware, such as computers and projectors, and software, such as flight models, can be centrally controlled via DSIM in an easy to understand browser environment. In DSIM, the instructor controls the scenarios and events in the different simulators on a central map in which all trainees are visible and approachable. DWorld is a geographical copy of the world based on existing map and elevation data. This Unity-based rendering software is developed in-house by Multisim and it can be adapted for any desired training scenario in any part of the world, day or night. Through network solutions such as DSIM, a large number of simulators can operate simultaneously in DWorld under exactly the same conditions. They see each other from their own perspective observe the same events, experience the same weather effects such as brownouts, and communicate and operate together in real time. Our most recent application of collaborative training is the Aerial Refueling Simulator. My name is Maarten and just recently I joined Multisim as an aeronautical engineer. In a cooperation between the Delft University flight test pilots at the Air Force and Multisim, as a master student I developed a simulator platform for aerial refueling operators. In this simulator they can train their skills in control tasks with remote stereoscopic vision. More and more defense forces operate tanker aircraft equipped with such remote vision systems. Our new simulator comprises a stereoscopic three-dimensional display that uses two monitors and a semi-transparent mirror to deliver two unique images to each individual eye. This concept is equal to that used in the A330 multi-role tanker transport aircraft. The result is a very cost-effective simulation platform for training refueling skills. In our setup, many physical parameters that make the refueling job easier or harder can be changed for demonstration and training purposes. For example, the aerodynamics of the boom, the control loading on the joysticks, the alignment of the camera system and the characteristics of the receiving aircraft can all be changed in the interface. For my thesis, the simulator was used as the experimental setup to investigate a possible change in human control behavior in depth control tasks compared to traditional flat plane control tasks. I tested my conditions with a complete squadron of boom operators of the Royal Netherlands Air Force at Eindhoven Air Base. The results scientifically prove that hyper stereo provides a far better task performance over unenhanced stereo. With the flexibility of DSIM, and its wide range of possibilities. The refueling simulator is going to be used by operational communities to increase individual skills, train in conjunction with receiving fighter pilots and to gain experience by rehearsing a wide range of missions. Even more so, in DSIM and DWorld, it is possible to reconstruct and rehearse actual missions that were flown so that boom operators can learn from difficult situations, near incidents and mishaps in the loop. This is a big leap forward 
compared to watching videos of missions from a video recorder as they do now. The cost-effective refueling simulator that Multisim has built suits the need for skills training and retention of boom operators.